Pastor Tim Gauger of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church, and this is your Coscast for Monday, April 19th, 2021. Yesterday was the 500th anniversary of Martin Luther's I Will Not Recant, Here I Stand, God Help Me, Amen, Confession Before Emperor Charles at the Diet of Worms, 1521, April 18th. The readings for the third Sunday of Easter, which yesterday also was, complemented Luther's courageous confession perfectly. In the first lesson, we saw Peter, before the Sanhedrin, draw on the power of the resurrected Christ to confess that Jesus was risen, and that's why they had done what they had done in healing the man who had been crippled since birth. In the second lesson, the Apostle John, who had been there with Peter before the Sanhedrin, in his first letter explained how everything he had experienced in person with Jesus is now for us to experience and draw power from through God's word, so much so that he not only helps us to lead holy and God-pleasing lives, but he forgives our sins when we don't. And then finally in the gospel lesson, we had Jesus tell us that we would be his witnesses, and the word he used there was actually martyrs, underscoring the fact that sometimes it's difficult, dangerous, and even deadly to give witness to his resurrection. We pray that the Holy Spirit would continue to fill us through word and sacrament as it did Peter so that we too, when the time comes, can courageously confess the name of Jesus because in him salvation is found and there is no other place to find it for only Jesus died for the sins of the whole world and rose again to tell us that all is forgiven and salvation is free. You know, yesterday was also kind of nice because um, some of the hymns were really great, like they always are during Easter. We got to sing A Mighty Fortress. Kathy really let the organ rip. That's always awesome. And then we got to kick the doors open. It was nice weather out, and I think that's always wonderful to be in a church where the front doors are propped open. And we were able to do that for people to come and go, and that that was always great. Uh, This coming week, I just would remind you that if you're still staying away from church because of COVID, because you haven't been vaccinated yet or whatever, um, there is private communion appointments still available. You just got to go into the e-bulletin that you receive each week and make your appointment. Only those that are available will come up on the screen. Uh, So once you make it, we get notified here in the office and we'll be ready to commune you. And then uh, one other thing, we've got a big meeting coming up at the end of this week, uh, actually next Sunday, or this coming Sunday, I should say, uh, about the building project. That'll be at 11 o'clock after the um, second service. And we're going to share what we know, hopefully get a letter out to you this week too, and then we're really going to try to listen to what your questions and thoughts are. Uh, We are making slow but steady progress Uh, The issue really kind of comes down to, do we want to try to do this uh, this year yet? Like in August would be the start date, or do we want to delay it another year? Uh, So that'll be a discussion at the quarterly meeting at 11 o'clock on Sunday. And then tomorrow I'll be back to share some thoughts with you about the psalm of this week, which is Psalm 118. Until then, God be with you as you go about your day. God bless.